Do you like first person shooters? Do you like game shows? Do you like being able to destroy anything and see super cool explosions and entire buildings leveled in front of your face just because you can? Well, then you're going to really enjoy The Finals. The Finals is an upcoming free to play first person shooter that focuses heavily on destructibility and teamwork. In this video, I wanted to just go over some of the pros and the cons of the finals so that you know what you're getting yourself into when it finally releases sometime, hopefully, late 2023. And keep in mind that any con that I mention here is going to be overshadowed by the fact that this is a free game, so you should just try it out anyway, because <laughs> it sounds like it's going to be a ton of fun. So the first pro that I have is that this seems like it is being designed with esports in mind. This seems to be a game that is very team focused and the way that they handle the respawns in a limited capacity um, really punish you for playing solo and going way out of your way and playing off on your own. Getting a group of three guys to stick together and get the cash out box is how you win the finals. If somebody's going off on their own, they're gonna have to spend valuable respawn tokens getting back in the game if they wanna join your team again after a super long respawn timer. In addition to how great the team play is, there's actually a super high time to kill, which rewards players who are better at aiming, situational awareness, and again, team play. Very rarely are you going to see something happen where you are just transitioning from one place to another with a team and you get domed in the head and you're dead in one shot from an AK, like some of these other eSport games that we see right now. <laughs> the high time to kill allows for people to feel rewarded for tactical decisions that they make rather than punished for tiny, tiny minor mistakes that they may make along the way. The second pro is destructibility. This game can be demolished. Every map in the game can just be absolutely leveled. Sometimes the cash out box will spawn on the top floor of a building and you are on the ground floor and you don't have a grapple hook, but you do have frag grenades, breach charges, landmines. <laughs> so you throw them all along the foundation of the building and you level the building so the cash box comes down to you. <laughs> The freedom that these guys give you in this game to destroy anything and they, the way that they encourage you to destroy everything is so much fun. We haven't seen this level of destructibility since like Battlefield 4 and it's so refreshing to see this in like a mainline wannabe eSport title. I really hope that other game developers look at this and add some more destructibility into their games. The funny thing here is that actually some of the people who are working on the finals are ex-Battlefield developers. Now, briefly, just some cons. And again, this is in beta, so these could all be fixed by the time the game is released. But the major con that I'm seeing right now is people disconnecting from the game. When somebody disconnects from your team, you lose 33% of your winnability, essentially, in any given tournament. And if somebody leaves your match, you know, halfway through a tournament, sometimes these tournaments can take an hour long. And that's, that's 30 minutes that you just sunk in for nothing. I'm sure that this can be fixed with maybe stronger disconnect penalties or maybe a way to add like a bot in place of that person. Or perhaps there's a stall that happens um, or your team gets some sort of handicap with the cash out boxes. I'm not sure, but it needs to be addressed. The second con is performance issues, especially on PC. This is still kind of a hard game to run. Um, I'm running it on a 3070 and it is chugging sometimes. <laughs> so make sure you have a good system. PS5 and Xbox Series X should run this just fine, but Xbox Series S and PC, you may have some performance issues here and there if they don't fix it before launch. Lastly, and this is my biggest gripe with this game, is that it does feel like there's a lot of things that come down to luck. Most specifically, where you spawn in with your team or just by yourself and where the game decides to put the spawns for the vaults and the spawns for the cash out boxes. These are random every time and it's seemingly anywhere on the map. Sometimes your team can be placed so far away from a vault or a cash out station that there's just no chance that you can contest it or get there in time before the other team already is cashing out and they get the prize. On the flip side of that though, you could have walked the entire map, you're capturing a cash out box, you're about to get it, and then two teams happen to spawn in like 50 meters away from the objective right before you're about to get it and they jump on you and they get the cash out box. You get sandwiched, one of them wins and somebody else gets the cash out box just because of their, their spawn, their luck that they had spawning in. And yes, I know this is an issue in most games, but especially when you're trying to be an eSport, I think getting the randomness down is really important. And yeah, that's pretty much my really, really short take on the finals. It is fun. The gunplay is amazing. The destructibility is incredible. The cosmetics are incredible. 
it's it's a it's a good game it's in a really strong spot right now and i'm really excited to see it succeed later this year when it does come out i think people are going to have a lot of fun with it so there's my take it is an open beta this weekend so go and check it out and follow me on twitch i may be streaming it this weekend and i would appreciate if you stopped by it'd be kind of cool all right thanks so much for watching and enjoy the finals subscribe all that fun stuff thanks for watching bye